Hey everybody, JT Raised Outdoors. Thanks for stopping in today. Today we're going to be feeding cows and we have to load some uh, cows out of some pastures and move them around. So stick with us. Here we go. So these, uh, there's two pair here that we're going to move and a bull we're going to load. We're going to try to load this bull in the front part of our trailer here, up this alleyway. And that way we'll gate him off in the front and keep them all separate because the cows are going in a different spot. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Well, we got the bull pinned off there. Get him loaded there. We got him gated off. Caleb come up with this little slick idea. We put this piece of a ratchet strap on here and pull that gate so we don't have to get in there with him. He's pretty gentle, but you never know about bulls, so. We'll load these two cows up. I'll kind of ease her that way once you get it open. She just wants to go. Yeah. She wants to yeah. get in a trailer. Yeah. Come on, Kev. There they go. Got it. It'll be all right. We got them now. Anyway, we got two pair in the back, and we it up right. That went pretty good. We'll see what happens in the next spot. is is a cow that's not bred so they should have had a calf like in September October and they didn't for some reason uh, whether they slipped a calf or lost a calf sometime or another but anyway there's three of them that didn't calve and we're gonna haul them out of there and uh, take those to the sale and sell them because they're not gonna produce a calf for us and if they don't produce a calf um, we usually uh, take them to the sale barn and sell them and let somebody else have them. Uh, mainly just to have a, a calf, every cow have a calf, so you're getting the, the most um, out of your grass in your pasture. So, And the bull that's in the front of the trailer, he's, he's a bull we've used for several years, and uh, we no longer need him, so we're going to sell him too. And then we'll probably go and buy a bull this spring to put with some more cows uh, for the spring the spring herd so we're headed to the next pasture oh uh, four or five miles away and we're going to dump these two pairs that we have in the back out and they'll be in the pasture with this other herd so these cows here we're going to sort three of them off we got their numbers wrote down and the rest of them we're going to turn out to pasture Okay, yeah. 
These three here are the ones we're gonna take with us, loading the trailer and taking the to town. These three did not have a cast this year. They were open. So these other two that we got brought with us from the other pasture, we're gonna turn them loose with the rest of this herd and they'll be paired up age-wise with them. So we'll kick them out on the back. When you kick cows out, you don't want to dump them by themselves. You, they want to be with the herd, so when we dump these out, we want to make sure our other cows are fairly close, so they'll hang with them. But anyway, these three in here we're going to load up, hopefully. We went off and forgot our panels. We usually run a panel out of this trailer down this side here to give us a wing we can load them but we got the bull in front hopefully the cows will go into the bull so we'll see see if it works that gate there and we'll have three more to go we'll probably have to unload and then reload again with no gates but we'll figure that out on the next one two more places to load up we got three cows out of two more places so we'll see how it goes
goes back. This is the bad thing about butterfly gates right here. Well, we got those two loaded and we'll take them to the next pasture, which is the last pasture we got to deal with. And everything we have in the trailer, we'll probably kick all out into a pen after we sort off two more down there and then we'll load them all back in. With these trailers, the way they are with these gates, a lot of times it's easier just to kick them all out and then run them back in because every time you shut a gate inside a trailer, you lose the the room in it you lose the amount of head you can get in them but anyway we're getting along pretty good um, we're gonna run down to the farm in Oklahoma and gather up two more down there and then reload all these so a little bit more sorting down there in Oklahoma to do but man it's cold today the truck says it's 33 degrees but it's just overcast there's a little bit of breeze but man it just seems like it's really cold today for some reason i looked at the weather and it's humidity was showing to be 36 percent, so that's really low so I'm, I'm not real sure why it feels so cold but it just feels that way today is he gonna leave those gates open then yeah okay Leave him open. He don't care if they go either way. Is he going to Oklahoma with us? Or what's he? No, he's gonna go check the pond. Oh, see if there is. We can surely get them in down there. Yeah. So they're in the middle of these, all these calves. There's two cows we need. What we'll do is run them cows and whatever calves come with them down here in this pen and get them in a smaller area and. Uh, they're easier to sort in that smaller area than this bigger area. So. Let's see if I can get in here and get them peeled out of here. So we've got both them cows in here and then we'll send them in here in this shorter area right here and do some more sorting. Yeah, if they go in there, it's fine. We can, there we go. We can sort some of these calves off out of here now. And we got another trap right here that we can swing. There's the two cows we need right there. Now we peeled these two cows off of this little batch. I'll go down here and we'll kick them out. And after we fed them this morning, they haven't been to water yet, so I'm sure they'll go to the pond and water. But that that's the way they normally like to go out. So it'll be easy for them to go that way. If we just kind of sit here and wait, they'll go that way nice and easy. Until some of them get to running, then it stirs the rest of them up. But anyway. Those, these calves we're gonna be selling in a week or two. So we just finished loading those two cows. So I have a trailer load. We got one bull and six cows that are open. And we're gonna take them to the sale barn. That's where I'm headed now. And they'll sell tomorrow. Appreciate you guys watching today. And if you don't mind, please like, subscribe, and share. Leave us a comment. And we'll catch you on the next one.